In this video, we're going to uh, learn three or four new functions that will help us uh, plot a normal distribution curve. The first function we're going to look at is a sequence function. There's a number of ways of using that. But here I'm telling it to, to build a sequence of numbers from a negative 4 to 4. And I want the length of the sequence to be equal to 200. Okay, so there's that list of numbers. What I'm going to do with that list of numbers is to put them in an object. We'll call this uh, x. In fact, that's going to be uh, the x values of the function. The next function we need to know about is the denorm function. Uh, say we looked at denorm of uh, 2.5, 2.4, with a norm of with a <laughs> sorry. A mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. What that's going to tell us is the y value on the normal distribution curve. So what we're going to do is build a vector y. Oops, let's do it this way. We're going to uh, crumb. We're going to build a vector y that is going to, uh, for each of the x values, it's going to be the d norm when the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Okay, so there's there's y and other 200 values. Now we're just going to plot uh, the x, plot the xy. Pull that over so you can see it in the window. Uh, now the problem with the plot function is when you call it that way, it just puts a little circle for each one of those 200 uh, xy points. So let's do uh, add some more things to this. Let's make the type L. That means that it's going to be a line instead of those dots. So that's looking a little bit better. And maybe one other feature of this plot will set the color of the plot to be uh, red. So there you go. We've plotted that. All that we needed to know was the sequence function, the denorm function, and the plot uh, function to get that done. That's the end of the video.